Hey guys, welcome back to Yokai Watch, Puni Puni, and today we're gonna power through all these levels to get to the cool stuff. So, give me a sec. Not yet. Still more. Wait for it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, number seven should be something. Yes. Okay, we got her. This is Mayone, which is the uh, female protagonist of the snack world, and. She's so adorable and apparently kind of a jerk. And we're gonna destroy her basically with our extremely powerful yokai. Pretty much every single Puni Puni event, it's gonna be the same thing. We gotta get through the trash levels, more or less, to get to the goods. In the form of the uh, more difficult stages with the better rewards, etc. But I wanna show off some of these models because they might be characters or just things you may not know about currently. So we're gonna be highlighting some of the Weaker quote unquote bosses of this collab event. And yeah, that was Mayone. She don't do too much. She just kinda dies. Especially if you have Dragonite Chop. Gotta say, he's pretty darn strong. But anyway, on to the next boss, I guess. And seven stages later, we're finally here. Stage 14. The Snack World's castle. And inside it is Pepperon! Oh! And we cannot feed him. What a shame. We can't get Pepperone from the point shop as I showed you last time, and uh, he's definitely handy if you want to grind some Y points, which I might actually start doing, but as far as the boss goes and as a character, he's kind of just, I don't know, he's kind of just the doof, more or less, of the group. The group is uh, him, Gobson, uh, Chup, Mayone, and then Botakun. Well, I don't think we've shown off Botakun yet. And then the party obviously grows once they, you know, travel around the world of Snack World and encounter new stuff. From what I can gather, the TV show is actually doing pretty well in Japan. Sadly, it's not been uh, translated into English yet, which is a darn shame because it looks pretty darn cool. Like, the animation for it and everything is really awesome. There is a uh, translated version of, like, basically a teaser of what the um, anime would be like if it ever got translated in English on YouTube, but it doesn't really go into too much detail, and it kind of has, like, some weird stuff going on with the, uh, dub, but that's okay, we're just gonna... <laughs> Despite him being Chup's buddy, SLICE HIM IN HALF WITH OUR GIANT SWORD! Yeah! Look at all his point balls, oh my gosh. I love that Sultimate so much. We didn't get the, uh, Moxie Sultimate with Goku Venoth, that's okay. And, uh, I don't think I've talked about this yet, but... These Dragon Heart things can appear on the stage too when you have Dragon Knight Chup, and if you pop them, similar to uh, Extreme Blizzaria, all the surrounding Puni will become Dragon Knight Chup, which is actually pretty darn cool in helping you get his uh, Sultiman up. And okay, level, level one coin. Come on, Pepperone. We've been buddies forever, and you gonna treat me like that? <laughs> Not really. Then why'd you cut me in half with your sword? I don't know. Whatever. Anyways. Another uh, kind of uneventful stage, and moving on to the next stage, it's kind of just the same thing over again. Yeah. So I clear through every single stage here, excluding the extra stages, because I don't give a crap. And now we're at the stage with the dragon, and also a very deadly knight. Vincent would like to battle, and uh... I'll be honest, I need some spirit to battle him. <laughs> I've, I've burned through a lot getting here, but let's take him on this time, and chances are, I don't even, I think you could do this stage with like, even level 30s, dude, like, realistically, they're just not tough at all, but Vincent is an interesting character, he's, uh, what I like to call level 5 marketing at its finest, they make this really cool, charming, uh, main character in the form of Chup, and then they make a character infinitely cooler, even in the story, even in the context of the story, he's like, nah, nah, Vincent's way cooler than you, Chubb, get over yourself. And then give him his own line of merchandise and like, oh yeah, you got the normal Chubb stuff, okay. But do you have the Vincent weapons? And it's like, oh crap, I don't, man, I suck. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Realistically, he's a pretty cool character. I don't really know too much about him other than the fact he's sort of the, uh, not really anti-hero, he's like, more or less an ally and sometimes an enemy of Chuck and his party, but uh, he's dead now, so I guess we don't really have to worry about him. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, these stages are just face roll for me. I guess our uh, yokai over on Puni Puni are just way too strong. But hey, we got a five star coin, so that's not bad. A little bit better than Pepperone. I hope the last uh, stage of this whole event gives me a uh, soul secret. That'd be really nice. But uh, we're progressing now to the last stage. 
<laughs> Vinegar Cons. Castle. Time is money. And this boss music is pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. But you know what's even scarier? More of these goddamn stages. Let's knock them out, okay? And alright. A couple of random yokai stages later. We're at the top. Vinegar Khan. The primary antagonist of Snack World. And all around, just a giant fat jerk. Is standing in our way from finishing this event. So let's tear him to pieces in between episodes. There, yeah, I decided to crank for Cinderella Sergeant. I got her. And I also decided to put Platinos and Kabu King on our team to give us that really good, um, Tough Tribe Unity. On top of that, I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm gonna just cross my fingers and actually he's doing like zero damage. No, he's doing pretty good damage. We're almost in fever. And I have a uh, Goku Venox ultimate up, so... Yeah, I don't know what to really say. This is pretty much done, so goodbye, Vinegar Khan! But hey, at least we get to see uh, Sergeant Cinderella's ultimate. She kind of just yells at us like Sergeant Burley. I like it. I don't know what level 5's whole deal with Sergeant, so... Whatever. Let's pop this ultimate. Urgh! Taste? Oh my gosh, this is going to do so much damage. Holy crap! Yeah, there's no way surviving this. But if you're curious about Vinegar Khan... He's basically this Omega Greedy guy, who was so greedy in fact, when Chup's village would not move so he could put down a parking lot, he burned the whole village to the ground with his dragon army. Kind of a jerk, but hey, he's been defeated, so who really wins at the end of the day? Not insane capitalism. Snacks, baby! We got, oh, we got any XP orbs. Well, that's actually pretty good, because I need that for uh, some other yokai, but we didn't need to use Vincent, we didn't use Melora. That might change soon. Once you defeat Vinegar Khan's normal form, he's gonna turn into a Dragon Knight. And this is the end game of the Snack World collab. Taking on this guy is gonna be actually really tough, so I need to level up my team a little bit more. Okay, now I think we're good, guys. So, we have changed up the team a lot. We have almost nothing but uh, characters from Snack World, which is kind of cool, and Platinos just to be in there. But we have Vincent, Princess Melora, to help us with a counterattack, and Chuck for that insane damage output. So here's the deal. <laughs> yes, he looks very silly as a Dragon Knight. However, his damage output is actually surprisingly high. Compared to other collab events, though, he's totally manageable. Here's the thing, though when you use a Sultimate, its effects can be halved which is very, very scary. For instance, if we use Platinosa's Sultimate right now, we'd only get half of the boost. We'd get a full boost, but not for very long, since it's a timed effect. This also counts for Dragonite Chup, so to make sure things go as smoothly as possible, I'm gonna test the waters, trying to get in fever, and okay, let's pop it. Now, if I'm fast enough, I'm pretty sure, no! Okay, so we took a little bit of damage and our Sultimate's got drained, but you're fast enough! You can finish him off, and oh my gosh, we did. I think that's enough. Actually, no, it's not even close. Crap, crap, crap. Oh my gosh. What am I saying? Never mind. That's 100. That's 100,000, not 10,000. <laughs> Holy crud, that was easy. I also forgot to feed him. God dang it. Okay, so this is our next goal. Trying to befriend Vin... Hey, we got this whole secret I wanted, but... Trying to befriend Vinegar Khan, Dragon Knight. Wish me luck. This might take me a couple tries. God dang it. Okay. Second time's the charm. <laughs> okay. I'm fairly certain I don't even need to be in fever to actually knock him out with Dragon Knight Chup's Sultimate Attack. Mostly because SSS rank damage output are a lot higher than normal. But be on the safe side, I'm just gonna make sure and get in a fever because all your damage output is significantly higher when you're in fever time. But the reason we have Vincent on here is to help deal with his counterattack, and Princess Molora helps us out with our defense. If I didn't have Princess Molora, I'm pretty sure this guy would be doing double damage. That's kind of scary, so you definitely want to try and pull her if you have access to a lot of Y points, or you get a little bit lucky. But, we're almost in fever. These point balls also make things really, really hard, but we should be fine. Dragonite Chup, go! And he still drained our soul tonight. God dang it! Alright, so, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of annoying, but I'm going to remember to feed this time. We should be good. Okay. Hopefully. I'm not using any befrienders here. I totally could have if I had Chocolina, but eh. The only other befriender I have is uh, Gentle Menken. He's not allowed on the stage. Yes! Oh my gosh! Okay. I was trolling. I was saying, second time's the charm, second time's the charm, over and over again, but this actually, this actually took me a straight up hour 
and that's annoying, but here he is! Dragon Knight, Vinegar Khan, who, uh... Yeah, has the face only a mother can love. He's an SS rank tough attack booster. Very similar to, well, Nekonise, and I'm so happy to be done with this god dang stinking map. I really like it. It's really, it's probably one of my favorite yokai events ever, but man, he just would not join me. I guess that's to keep you playing, though, and there he is, so... His effects are, he boosts by 64 points, which is okay, not the end of the world, and he also increases, uh, the size of a couple wibwobs, which is not bad, but it would have been a lot better if he was a super booster. <laughs> On top of that, his skill is Tough Tribe Unity. Let's check out his animations and inflate this pony. Okay, I think... Oh, he's gonna be upside down, I screwed it up, eh, whatever. <laughs> As per tradition! Oh crap, I missed one too. God dang it! Well, Vinegar Khan is, uh, not cooperating, it would seem. There we go. This is what his Wibwob looks like once you've, uh, sort of just boosted it all the way. Let's see that, uh, attack boosting animation. Just end this real fast. He, uh, just kind of extends his lance, and then there's the sinister aura thing, and you kind of get what he does. It's not always the most exciting to get attack boosters from these sort of things, but you never know. Every single attack booster that comes out, you want to try and get, because you never know what type of new yokai are going to come out in future events. Heck, did I know ne uh, Hotei-san would be as strong as he would be? No, I didn't. And I get him. Heck, I wasn't even playing Poonie back then, but definitely try and get this guy. It's not that tough. But we're not done yet. Strangely enough, there are a couple slots added to, well, the medallion, and I think... There's some new yokai along the way, such as Vincent SSS. On top of that, if we go to the slippery side, I'm fairly certain there's also a new slot for where the SS ranks are. Yep, there it is. Right here, I'm pretty sure is another Snack World character that we have not gotten yet. Now, a lot of my friends have been telling me this is going to be a score attack boss. And I really hope that's true, because if it is, well... We got another video to make. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more Pony Pony content. Bye.